Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I have a prototype Elwin Wild doll from Robert Tonner to show you guys and I am super thrilled to have this. You may have seen some of the other prototype Elwin doll videos here and this is another one. This is Neutral Ground. Her name is Neutral Ground and I am just like this is my first time like actually opening her and looking at her so oh would you look at that would you look at her she is so gorgeous all right i'm gonna pull her out let's look at her story so it says this afternoon i said to myself why isn't the moment more gradual however hard it tries it always feels sudden so i long for the moments that make me feel more like neutral ground so here, here she comes. Let's get her out of this box and have a look at her. And so that's one of the things that I think everybody loves about Elowen is that she has all these, um, she has a story and she has her own story and backstory. And of course, as a collector, you can change the story as you see fit. But I like that they already come with a story because I'm one of those folks, I don't create stories for my dolls very often. And so when they come with a great story, that's just a huge, huge plus. So let's check her out. Oh, y'all, she has freckles. So there's been photos of her shown already and I did not see in the photos that she has freckles. What? Shut up. Freckles. Oh my gosh, they're so soft. They're like barely perceptible, but they're there and they are just, they just give her this, Ah, I don't know how to say it. I don't know the words for that, but it is amazing. I love the pink color of her lip, like the mauve kind of deep pink color. Her eyes are almost a turquoise color. So looking at her eyes, they're not really blue and they're not really green. They're like a blue green in between, blue green in between. And she's got rooted hair. This is a red hair, but it's not a bright red hair. So um it's like a more subdued red hair color how cool is that and i like her hairstyle that's really really cute how they did that oh she's gorgeous she's really really beautiful so of course neutral ground she's in neutral color so she's got this dress and this dress gives me such dolly parton vibes i absolutely adore it we've got the fringe it is so gorgeous we've got the lace um, it reminds me of a lace that my great grandmother used to tat if you guys have heard of tatting and this is almost it's got a linen look I don't think it's actual linen I'm feeling it. I don't think it's actual linen it could be but it's got a linen look so this is a very kind of like earthy um, neutral of course because neutrals in the name but like just a chic country chic sort of look is the way I feel like I see this and she's got with this oh look we've got the buckle got shifted around in shipping, but she's got a belt, um, like a lace belt with a big buckle. So I'm gonna take that off just to show you guys so we can look at the outfit construction. So that's really cool. Um, and then let's check out the skirt and shirt combo. So this is a, um, oh, this is a bodysuit. So underneath here, this is a bodysuit. So you can see that, that makes it easy on and off. And these buttons are actually, they've got snaps behind them. And the skirt comes off and then there's pantyhose underneath, of course. But these little tassels, it just really, really gives me those Dolly Parton vibes. And I love that because um, just, you know, happy memories. And it's just, oh, it's just a little bit, she's like a little bit fashionable, a little bit, a little bit, um, What's the word I'm looking for? A little bit high fashion, a little bit hee haw. So she's a little bit of both, but I love it. Like, and her face is just so gorgeous. So let's check out her boots. She's got these lace, um, the, the lace continues into the boot and it's an open toed boot laced up with a zipper in the back. So let's see if I can get these on her feet. So check them out. I love the silhouette that these shoes give her feet. They really elevate this entire outfit to a more like um, Grand Old Opry look because it's so, um, it just gives that touch of elegance and that touch of fashion and that touch of femininity. I mean, not that the outfit wasn't already, but it's like 
the perfect finishing touch because you could have paired this with a pair of you know regular cowboy boots and that would have been a really cute look but that would have been a totally different look if you know what I mean like the shoes here really change the look and feel of this outfit so I think these are absolutely perfect for this outfit and they're so adorable with it um, I just really this is just so cute and it's the perfect like perfect neutral ground and the colors that have been chosen for her makeup for her hair um, for her nails so look at check her nails out they're polished and finished um, in that gorgeous pink tone she also comes with this doctor's bag which is really gorgeous it's a brown doctor's bag we've got these beautiful gold buckles a really gorgeous gold zipper that unzips and actually has space inside and this is lined with a it's hard to see because it doesn't open that far but it's even lined inside with like a satiny gold toned um, fabric and it's got a cross body strap as well if you don't want to hold your doctor bag in your hands and you want to have it as a strap this is another gorgeous piece to add to this outfit it's the perfect accessory um, to go with it so the elements in this line um, have like this a gorgeous gorgeous outfit and then one beautiful extra piece with it you know whether it be a jacket or the purse in this case i just really love this doctor style um bag it's just so adorable it's so cute and oh and the strap comes off so if you don't want to display it with the strap check this out the strap has little jewelry closures on it so you could actually take that strap off if you didn't want that showing and you could um, roll it up let's say and for safekeeping you could just stick it down inside the bag that way you know where it's at but if you want to display her um, holding it without that extra strap there you go and she holds it beautifully that hand the way that hand is sculpted and posed is the perfect hand for holding this doctor satchel um, if she's out going shopping or whatever that she's doing so i think that's a really nice touch and it's a really beautiful accessory for her um very reminiscent of the classic louis bags if you guys are familiar with those so oh my gosh she's just so gorgeous i really love her coloring um, I love love all the colors they chose for her and the outfit the details of the outfit are so amazing and again like I said you know a little mix of high fashion and hee haul that's what we've got going on here and I love it I'm here for it so I hope you guys um, enjoyed seeing her I am really excited to have been able to show her to you she is going to be available through virtual doll convention and I will link all that information in the video description and in the top comment of this video so as soon as they're available for sale I recommend that you guys jump right on it because these L ones do sell out pretty quickly and I also recommend that you follow virtual doll convention make sure you're subscribed for the emailed newsletter so that you can be among the first to know when these dolls drop and they go live I will also as soon as they drop I'll of course share it across my socials so make sure you're following me so that you can know when they're available and jump right on it guys and I, you know I'm so excited L ones back I can't even describe to you like what it, I, what I feel like that means for the doll community as a whole that Elwin has come back and then on top of that um, just really excited to be partnering and showing you guys these prototype dolls so thank you very much for the opportunity to virtual doll convention and to Robert Tonner for creating Elwin and bringing her back to us and thank you to you guys out there for watching if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and we'll see you in the next video bye bye I want to say a huge thank you to my patrons from Patreon, Lindsay S, Leah W, Doreen Z, Janice H, Mercedes W, Cindy K, Bear Sunflower, Diane B, Kelly L, Cindy L, Susie W, Krista R, Victory Run, Shorna R, Shira Star Hobby, Stephanie W, Jessica S, Ray M, and Asia C. Your support means so much to me and helps me continue bringing you great Dolly content. For information on how you can become a supporter of this channel, please see the link in the video description. Thank you so much for watching.